lifestyle that I was living before I came to know Christ was very dark and very lonely. I was filled with fear, and I used substances to try and fill that void that I didn't even know was missing. I was using cocaine and painkillers like morphine, and at one point even heroin to try and escape from anything that was real. I didn't care about anything else. I was so addicted, I couldn't even get out of bed in the morning unless I had some drug to help me through the day. I remember withdrawing from my family because I didn't want them to see how bad I was really doing, even though they probably already knew. I'd always heard statistics of people who actually overcame their addictions, and the odds were against me, and that scared me. Then a life-changing event for my whole family happened when my little brother died in a house fire out of nowhere. I remember when I first heard, I couldn't even believe it. Things after that actually got worse for me because it was a reality that I didn't want to face. Anything that was real, anything that hurt, I didn't want to feel. I jumped into a whole new level of addiction, a world I didn't even think was possible. During this time, my parents had started to attend Westside. After a while, they started inviting me to services, and I just kept saying no. She asked me to go to the Tower Theater for Easter, and I felt bad for all the times I said no, and I finally came. As I started to hear the message and what was being said, everything started to make sense. I could actually feel God was real, and I left with that in mind. I remember one day I was having a really hard day, and I had been crying, and I was driving in my car, and I said, God, I don't know if you're real and if what I'm hearing is true, but if you are real, give me a reason and a hope to want to change how I'm living. I wasn't really sure what to expect. When I went home, something had changed. In my heart, I knew that Jesus truly died for my sins. I actually fell on my knees in desperation, crying out to God, and I said, I can't do this anymore, and I believe in that moment I truly surrendered. Not even five minutes later, my mom showed up at my house and told me I, I needed to come home. I went into treatment knowing and believing that God had placed me there for a reason, and every single day, I wrote my prayers to Him. My worries, my hurts, and my fears. I was completely honest with God and how I felt, and He helped me walk through it all and healed me. He was faithful when I turned my heart over and I placed it in His hands. Today, I walk in total freedom. I'm happier than I've ever been in my whole entire life. If you would have told me even a year ago that uh, I would be a Jesus freak, I would have told you were crazy and laughed at you a lot. <laughs> now he's all I live for, and really the journey has just begun.